His fight to go to an Indiana school while living with AIDS made Ryan White a household name. He died 30 years ago today at just 18. His struggles began when he was just 13. That's when White received a tainted blood treatment infecting him with AIDS. There's a permanent Ryan White exhibit right now over at the Children's Museum, and today his mom reflected on this 30th anniversary of his passing. I'm more fortunate than most people, though, because I can talk about Ryan, and people want to listen, where a lot of people don't have that privilege of when someone passes away of, of sharing experiences because it brings about so much sadness. But with me, uh, even with it going to the Children's Museum, I mean, I think it's kind of therapy for me because I get to share Ryan's story. So just being able, the, the awareness, I think, of Ryan and, um, you know, it's, 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 it puts a smile on your face, but at the same time, it's just so very sad to remember those days. And, you know, thank God I had my friend Elton John with me because I don't think there's no way I could have got through that day. You probably remember Elton John was one of many celebrities who became close friends to the White family, even helping plan the funeral. Ryan's mom also shared the similarities between AIDS back in the 80s and what we're facing today with COVID-19, saying people are scared and don't want to listen.